guys learning with rich here in this video let's continue our discussion about project setup in our revit fire alarm systems design okay so last video i have teach you how to create plan views so this time around let's create fire alarm views because as you can see you will notice that let's say for example my level one until level five here it's under the sub-discipline lighting Okay, the discipline is correct, which is electrical, but as you can see, the sub-discipline is lighting. We do not want lighting here. We want fire alarm. So same with our floor plan here. So let's say, for example, uh, I do not want to have a power. So what I want is under the uh, fire alarm sub-discipline, these floor plans. Okay, so let's start. So what we are going to do is I'm going to select level one here and then let's have a look at the properties. So from the properties, you can see that the sub-discipline here is electrical, right? So which is what we want. But if you will notice here, our sub-discipline is lighting. So that is the reason why our level one here is under the lighting sub-discipline. So what I'm going to do here is if I'm going to click this, click the drop down arrow, as you can see, I only have here four sub-discipline. I have HVAC, lighting, plumbing, and power. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type here instead the fire alarm. Okay, so fire alarm, and then I'm going to select or apply. Oops, sorry. So fire alarm. Then apply, and there you go. So you will notice my level one now here is under the fire alarm sub-discipline. So that is what I'm going to do also on my level two, level three, level four, and level five. But before I do that, I'm going to open here the visibility graphics override because I want to turn on and I also want to turn off the elements that I do not want to see every time I open my fire alarm view for ceiling plan. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select edit here, the visibility graphics override, just click the edit, or you can also type VV or VG. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. There you go. And then on the model categories, I'm going to make sure that, okay, I want to see the cable trays and cable tray fittings on my fire alarm. And I'm just going to make sure that the conduit is turned off. Okay, no docks. Okay, no electrical, oh, no electrical fixtures. So I, I want to see the electrical equipment, but I do not want to see the electrical fixtures. Okay, make sure the fire alarm devices is on. No flex dock. All right, so no lighting devices, no lighting fixtures. Okay, and, and let's, okay, I do not want to see the wire, so I'll just turn it off. Okay, so these are the elements that I want to see on my ceiling plan, okay, for the fire alarm. So I'm just going to select here, okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to create a view template. Okay, so I'm going to create a view template so that instead of redoing all the things that I have done here on my level 1 for my level 2, 3, 4, 5. So all I have to do is I just need to apply the view template. Okay, so just make sure you change all the things that you want here on your level 1. You set up, you set up your level 1 ceiling plan. You change the scale. You change the... Uh, detail level, you turn off the visibility, you can create the filter, all of that. So once you're done, for example, I'm done already, I'm going to right-click the level one here, and then I'm going to select create view template from view. So what will happen is Revit will create a view template based on the settings that you have made here on your level one or whatever level that you are working on. So that is what Revit will going to do. So let's say, for example, I'm going to name this typical ceiling plan. Oh, sorry. So typical fire alarm ceiling plan. Okay, so just a simple name, ceiling 
plan or RCP or fire alarm RCP reflected ceiling plan. So I select here OK. So once I select OK, the view templates now will open. And then there you go. So there's the template that we have created. And if you look at the right side, so these are the properties that you can work on if you want to edit your view template. Okay, and also notice here the number of views with this template assigned is zero. So at the moment, this view template is not yet applied. Even on level one, it's not yet applied on level one. So what we just did is we just used the settings of our level one to create the typical fire alarm RCP. But it's not yet applied to our level one. As you can see, it says here zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here OK. All right, and then after that, here on my level one, I'm gonna go ahead and select that one again, and then move the slider down, and then here on the identity data, I'm going to select instead of none, I'm going to click that, and then I'll select the fire alarm RCP. So I click this one, and then after that, I select here OK. So the view template, a typical fire alarm RCP is now applied on our level one, and you will notice. If you want to change the scale here, you will not be able to do that. If you want to change the detail level, you can't do that. If you want to change here your uh, display, graphic display settings, you can't do that. If you want to change here the visibility graphic overrides, you can't do that. Why? Because there is a view template that is applied to your level 1. So in order for you to modify the view properties, what you need to do is you go to your view template you click the template that is applied and then you change from here so if you want to if you want to change the view scale so you just change the view scale here okay if you want to turn off let's say for example i do not want the view range here so i do not want to include that so i'm going to turn that off okay so i'm going to uncheck that okay and let's say for example I'm, I want the reference planes on my link model to be turned off. I want the reference lines on my uh, link model to be turned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify my template. So I'm going to open here the visibility graphics overrides Revit link. So I just click edit here. So I can modify independently the link model. So I'm going to change this one. So I select by host view. So instead of by host view, I'm going to change the custom here or to change to custom. And then since I want to turn off the reference planes and reference lines, so I'm going to select annotation categories. Annotation categories, I select here custom. And then you will notice it will become enable. So I'm going to look for reference lines. I'm going to uncheck that, uncheck. Okay, if you also want to turn off some elements on your link model, you can also do that. Okay, so it's up to you. You just need to change this to custom. And then you can turn off whatever elements that you would like to be turned off on your link model. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to select your apply. And then I'm going to select your OK. And then I select your apply. I'm going to select your OK. And as you can see here already on, the, on, our, on our background, our reference planes and reference lines are now turned off. So that's how you modify your view template. Okay, so and also notice number of views with this template assigned, it's assigned to one view, which is our level one. So this view template that we have now here, we're going to apply that also to our level two, level three, level four, level five. All right, so to do that, I'm going to select here, okay. So I'm going to select 2, hold shift, and then select level 5. All right. Then after that, you click here the view template. So instead of none, so you select typical alarm, ice, uh, fire alarm RCP. You select OK, and boom. So it's now under the fire alarm sub-discipline. So if I click level 2 here, so as you can see, there's the view template apply. If I click level 3, so there's the view template. Okay, so if I open the level 2 here, if I go to the uh, visibility graphic overrides here, so you will notice that it's the same settings as my 
uh, level 1. Okay? And then, if I go back again to the view template, to the typical fire plan view template, so notice that the number of views with this template assigned is now applied to 5 views, which is levels 1 to 5. Okay? So that's why be careful on modifying your typical alarm, uh, fire alarm RCP or any other view template because once you have changed this, so let's say, for example, you just realize, oh, on my level 2, I want this to be uh, scaled to 1 is to 50. So what you do is, instead of changing this instead straight away to 1 is to 50, you do not do that because if you change this to 1 is to 50, not only your level 2 will change to 1 is to 50, but also the other views wherein this view template is applied. It will be applied to all the 5 views. So if you just want to separate 1 is to 50, for example, for your level 2, okay, so you can just uh, duplicate this. You can select that, and then you can select duplicate, and then you just put the name. So let's say uh, typical fire alarm. RCP underscore, let's say, 1 underscore 50. Okay? Then select OK. There you go. And then you can now change here to the view scale. The 1 is the 50, for example. And then I select your OK. Okay? So that your level 2 is the only affected by the change of the view template to 1 is to 50. See? But if I go to level 3, it's still 1 is to 100 because it, it has a different view template okay so that's how the view template works right now for the uh, floor plan here so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna change this so I'm going to select all of this okay and then I'm going to uh, change the sub discipline instead of power I want to put that under the fire alarm as well. Fire alarm. There you go. Okay, so I do not want to apply any view template here. Okay. And, and also my 3D. So I click the 3D. I apply the sub-discipline fire alarm. And there you have it. So as you can see, I now have here the fire plan uh, views. I now have the floor plan. And then I now have my... Uh, level 1 ceiling plans up to level 5 ceiling plan set to my fire alarm. Okay? So, basically, that's how you use your... Uh, that's how you create your views for your fire alarm views using a view template. So, if you have any comments, questions, and suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.